getting a little funky. I could test this. Indeed, I do. I'll find you and beat you. In order to use this element, you will need to manually alter your power. Uh, manually? Yes. I have created this tutorial message to explain how to do so. Well, that's handy. Now use your fire blast on those people. It will ignite anyone in the blast radius. This would be great at a barbecue. Done already! More element types exist in this simulation for various powers, if you are able to find or create the code that is. Thanks for the help. It is not help, only repaying my debt. Now I will let you continue on your quest to find me the body you promised. AI won't help me break into other simulations unless he gets a body. So how do we get him one? The Zen have almost everything in the simulation locked tight, but there is something you can use. A control and interface device. Ooh, sounds fancy. Where can I get one? You're in luck. The Zen have a bunch in transit right now. CIDs to bring a downed hotspot online. Once you have a CID from them, get it to a safe spot and wipe its old programming so the AI can upload its personality into the new shell. Go back to that first hotspot you took down. You can get a CID there. One man surgical strike, eh? Sure. Go with that. Just get one and take it to a safe spot. You don't want to deal with Zin while trying to hack that device. Little me this, Kitsy. Can we get our AI a body in the real world, too? At this point, the AI is purely information. He's entirely digital. You could download him to your phone if you wanted. Why? Does he want a body? Can't imagine he wants to be stuck in the simulation forever. Good point. I'll check the ship for a suitable shell just in case. Along with the CIDs, the Zen are transporting a prototype for a contained forced recursive feedback projector. Oh, the bollocks even coming from you. <sighs> Imagine a gun that fires a bullet that bounces from one target to another to another to another like a pinball racking up a billion points. Still bollocks. Careful not to damage all the CIDs. I don't know when or if we'll get another chance to get one of these. No worries, Kinsey. I'm on it. Which CID should I nick? It doesn't matter. Just pick one. Fuck me! What did you do? I touched it! Well, touch it different next time. What 
Get this, Kinsey. Don't pin this on me. Oh, these things are broken. Don't you go, Bill. Oh, at last. Finally. Quick, get to a safe spot so you can crack it open. How far do I need to run? Just away from the Zin. Pick some place they won't find you. Will this take long? I won't know until I crack open the device and see how it ticks. This is as good a spot as any. Keep an eye out while I work on this. I guarantee the Zin have a way of finding these devices remotely. Found me. Don't let them take the CID. Work fast. Oh, hey! I found the tracking device. Wrap it up already. Would you like to take over? I could shoot aliens for a while. What's he doing? Kingsley, you're killing me here. Almost done. Hold on. A little bit more. Okay, the CID is cracked and clear for uploading. Inputting the AI code now. Jolly good. And this part won't take long, right? 55 minutes. 55 minutes? May as well be the rest of my fucking life! Look, the connection in this area is slow. Get closer to a major connection point like a power plant and this might go faster. Why not go there in the first place? Because a major connection point for the simulation is going to be heavily guarded. Won't see download faster? Well, probably, but... Then we're setting up shop over there. Once Sid's up and running, how long till he can start getting my crew back? Well, assuming the AI wasn't lying, I don't see a reason why we shouldn't be able to get right to it. Speaking of which, who do you want to grab first? Pierce? Shondi? Uh, I suppose we should go get mad. Miller? Oh my god, why? That changed his ways after Steelbook. He joined MI6, helped us kill Cyrus Temple, and you know, he's useful. Useful? This is all a bit overwhelming, is he? I want him to help you with all the cyber stuff. I'm doing just fine without Matt Miller. Thank you. Two heads are better than one, Kinsey. Let's find Matt. I'm here. Just need to mop up these Zid first. Throw the switch and all systems go. Excellent. Will this take much longer? Kinsey! That's just part of the process. Might want to rethink that process. The full download should only take about 16 minutes. There's got to be some way to make it go faster. I'll see what I can find. There might be additional access points we can use to increase the bandwidth. Personality transfer at 31%. I found an access point that can help speed this along. Get to it and activate it. Here we are. And switched on. There's a second access point out further. Both the access points online. Is the download improving? Much faster. Much, much too fast. Too fast! Sid is overloading! Overloading? Overheating! Get to him and cool him down! Okay, okay, we're good. We're fine. I managed to throttle the connection a bit, so it should be much more stable now. How much time till the download's done? Three minutes. Right then. Just enough time to fight off a few waves of sin. It's not a proper party till the murder bots arrive. Murder bots? Oh, wow. A wow doesn't quite cover it, love. Suppose we could put Sid in the murder bot instead. 
Do you really want to give some rogue AI an exoskeleton equipped with a complement of weapons and a history of violence? No, nah, I not. Besides, I already found a real CID body for him on the ship. So, you know, synchronicity. Oh my god, why does this hurt so much? Personality transfer at 74%. Data bottleneck encountered. Download complete. All right, time to kill us some aliens. Oh god, I'm gonna regret getting Sid a real body, aren't I? Bless you, Sid, you vicious little rascal. Take him down and I should be able to transfer some of his powers to you. My skull feels like it's on fire! Welcome to being able to move things with your mind. Is this glass orb thing important? Yeah. It has more clusters in it. Pick it up with your mind and smash it open. Nice job. I'm sure you'll have plenty of chances to use it. contains a variety of floating rings. The color of the ring denotes the type of object you need to throw it through in order to score a point. Vehicles go through blue, people through green, and the head of our very own Professor Genki through the pink ones. Score a point on every hoop within the time limit, and you win. Good luck! It's murder time, fun time! Welcome to Professor Genki's Mind Over Murder! Brought to you in part by everybody's favorite alien overlord, Shinyak! That's right, folks. The maven of mascot mayhem has teamed up with the conqueror of countless galaxies to create an all-new Genki experience. As folks at home know, by exploiting weaknesses in Zinyak's meticulously crafted simulation, our contestant has gained the power of telekinesis. But they will have to master the power of the mind to complete the challenges ahead of them today. I can now see why the professor was so eager to join forces with Zinyak. This should make for an interesting addition to the Genki family of games. 
Right you are, Bobby. So let's meet our contestant, the winner of Genki Bowl 7, and our favorite contestant, the President of the United States. Or whatever bits are still floating around in space, right, Zach? <laughs> too soon, Bobby. Too soon. Let's get to the action. So, Bobby, how do you think the addition of superpowers is going to affect the game? A submachine gun is a fine weapon, but nothing, nothing compares to the unlocked potential of the human animal. Super speed, super jump, and moving things around with the power of your mind? I'm expecting high action and lots of flailing bodies. <laughs> Makes you wish you had superpowers, doesn't it, Bobby? I'm just happy not to be stuck in a vat full of foul-smelling nutrient milk, reliving my worst fears for all of eternity. <laughs> you and me both, Bobby. You and me both. Can you imagine Genki and Zinya flying across the galaxy together, conquering worlds and abducting the biggest badasses each planet has to offer, and hitting them against each other in a super-powered fight to the death? Bobby, are you feeling all right? Or they could team up against an army of mascots, flaming mascots, armed with rocket launchers, and RPGs. Jeez. That's a fine dream, Bobby, but as you know, the world's biggest badass was and that's it for our first match. Excellent job by our contestant. I need help inserting a virus into the simulation, among other things. Do this, and I will reward you. Do not do this, and you will get nothing. Understand? Yeah, I got it. I always enjoy upsetting Zinyak. Show him you are better than his people at his favorite game show. <laughs> Anything else, Bobby? I have determined where inserting my virus would be most effective. Protect the area while I do this. An overload of the system will scramble some of their code. Completing one of the race programs will accomplish this. Oh man, I gotta trade this in for a... You accomplished what I asked you to do, so here is your reward. Now, continue with this task if you value doing everything you can in this world. Guess I don't have a choice. All right, Sid, here's the deal. You need me to ravage you. Don't worry, I'm fully equipped to pleasure you. Yeah. 